vampire, tall tales, it don't exist. That's literally like saying the sun didn't come up this morning. I mean, it is a manifest total war on reality, ladies and gentlemen. And they play games and go, well, it doesn't kick in for most people till next year. Because sadly, most people don't have employees. Most people work for these global corporations now. I, I, I'm ranting here. I, I just don't even, I know what to do. I realize the psychological warfare that they're engaged in. It, it is an attempt to create learned helplessness, a cognitive dissonance to just overwhelm the circuits and to condition us and inoculate us to accept total lies. They know they can't cover up what's happening anymore. So they're just going to set the precedent where they can commit any crime, walk all over us, tell lies, get away with everything. They are just training. They know we caught them crapping in the pool. So their answer is to crap 10 million times in the pool where and just tell you, no, blue water isn't blue anymore. It's black. Get in it. I mean, that's basically, I hate to use a gross analogy, but does that analogy work, guys? Because... It's nasty, but effective. But, but I mean, that's really what it is. It's just, they are in a war with reality and goodness. They are overthrowing common sense, and they are practicing lies on us. You see what I'm saying, CJ? Yeah. I lie to every day. But, but, but sure, but I mean, look, look. Bill Clinton didn't lie this much. Bush didn't lie this much. Uh, Putin, the Russians don't lie like this. Uh, Merkel doesn't lie like this. They just go, yes, the government has special vaccines. Don't worry about it. Because they know it's discredits to lie and get caught lying over and over again. But with the Democrats, they've gone with this confidence game thing where they just go, everyone loves Obamacare. Everyone wants to turn their guns in. Everyone wants open borders. Everyone loves GMO. Everyone loves Michelle Obama. Everyone loves world government. Everyone loves teaching five-year-olds how to have anal sex. You know, it, it, it's just a crazy town. Alex, Obama has something that other leaders don't, and that's peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. No, that's it. it it's like you've got to buy in to the trendiness in Nancy Pelosi and her $3,000 sports jacket dress with the pop collar. And, and she's confident, and she sits up there and says, everyone loves it. What's the problem? She, they say we're hoaxing when we expose their hoax. And so I guess that's all it is, is a bunch of grandstanding, thinking you're so stupid out there that you will buy absolutely anything and everything they do. And I think that's what it comes. I mean, I mean talk about a hoax, folks. Almost every mass shooter has been on SSRIs or on Ambien. I'm talking about locally, the last three or four people that just randomly shot somebody for no reason. I said, they'll be on it. They were on it. Not one thing out of the Austin Police Department. Next time Ace of is in here, I'm going to bring up that cop that got killed in Walmart. I'm going to say, why didn't you call for an investigation of people on SSRIs? Well, that's for the mental health professionals to do. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's for everybody's job. It's like breast cancer is up multi-thousand percentage points in women in the United States. Leading the world in it. I saw the statistics last year. I think you're over 100 times it was likely in the U.S. to get breast cancer than if you live in some place like Brazil. There's no discussion of why is it skyrocketing. It's all, let's find a way to cure it. See? It's like every time there's a mass shooting, every time, I cannot find cases where they weren't on psychotropic drugs. So there's no discussion of why is this going on? There's never, I mean, there were over 100 reporters at that press conference. And Jakari Jackson and Kit Daniels, our reporters, pulled up right as it began, ran up, and asked the questions at the end of the press conference. No one, it was all about, well, the female cop that showed up, you know, that made him shoot himself and stop it. You know, she's a hero. Tell us about her. Let's talk about that hero cop again, because that's what they want. Give me hero cops. Give me, because it's a prime directive. And fine, give me a hero cop story. But can we have other questions here, please? Does it always have to be the hero cop? See, everyone has been trained to ask mindless, pop culture, trendy, peer pressure, garbage st questions. And, and, you know, quite frankly, I think if you sign up to be an MP and somebody's shooting people, I don't think you're a hero if you run up and start shooting at them. I think you're doing your job.
I'm not taking away. It's just, it just does have to be every time. Hero cop, hero cop. Can we say hero cop again? Let's, yeah, let's say that th 10 more times. And then if I turn on the news, let's, uh, let's hear about hero cops all day. And then if I watch a sh movie, he more hero cops. And then more hero cops. See, the idea is only cops can be heroes. Only government can be heroes. And now the military can't have guns because they're not the hero cops. They can't be trusted. Really, they can't be trusted? Statistically, the military kill themselves. They don't kill people. Very low crime rate in veterans. You can look up the numbers. We know where the high, high crime rates are, ladies and gentlemen. They're in the drug-infested gangster culture that is taking over the country, that Hollywood and, and MTV promote. That's where the crime is. Again, more psych warfare, more garbage, more murders, more trash. But every time you hear about some mother of three drowning all three of her kids or all five of her kids or chopping their arms off with meat cleavers, it always comes out weeks later they were on psychotropics. Every time the cops pull up and a woman's dancing naked, cutting herself with butcher knives, that's a true story, they know immediately they're what they're going to find in the medicine cabinet. Everybody knows what's doing this. Every time a soldier goes crazy and goes and kills 18 innocent people or 10 innocent people, they're on these drugs. Every stinking time. The drugs are the issues, not our guns. And I know you know that. You better get that out to everybody. Matt Drudge took our article, put it up at DrudgeReport.com. You need to get our article in places like Real Alex Jones on Twitter or Infowars.com and get it out. Because there are people in an info war who want to blame you for what this guy did, whacked out of his brain on drugs, they that the government put him on. They're responsible for this more than anybody. We're not responsible, but they're going to collectively, the social engineers, blame us and blame all veterans and take their rights away as well. So in the info war, we've got to get these stories and get them out. I've got geopolitical news coming up on a host of issues and a lot more straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones, your host, and we have a constitutional professor joining us. Stay with us. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at harvestright.com. 
Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Yeah, that red coat that we're sending packing, uh, Piers Morgan, who has armed bodyguards, he's blaming the Second Amendment uh, for the mass shooting at Fort Hood. A military base active duty soldier on psychotropics on drugs shoots people he's mad at and i'm to blame so we need to take the guns out of the military i mean who can have if we're going to blame people collectively then you got to take the military's guns just like we did the report back at the time and said should we ban cars because somebody ran over 25 people killing a bunch of them at south by southwest and we went out and the more liberal and trendy someone was they said yes ban cars it's the car's fault no idiots Man, you're stupid. It is not the car's fault. But they're coming out with robot cars now where, oh, the car will see if you're driving too fast or violently and won't let you do it. See, prior restraint, which is total surveillance, total control, total slavery. That's what this technocracy is. And these little self-propelled traitors, these trendies. That, that, that totally trust the system and are as dumb as the day is long, literally most of them in Austin said, ban cars the day after because it's the car's fault. You understand that? It's not the car's fault. It's not the butcher's knife's fault. It's not the baseball bat's fault. Just like I told Piers Morgan when the women getting raped with the, with the iron rods uh, in uh, India, it's not the iron rod's fault. But see, if they can make it the fault of that, they can take your right to have a butcher knife or to have a baseball bat or to have a car. And they're going to do it with the technocracy. If you think I'm joking, just search South by Southwest Trendies want to ban cars. And they want them banned. They want them banned now. They'll probably get them banned. Because they are the rulers of Earth. The dumbest are the people that the government sits there and, and, and empowers to run our lives. All the elite fly around in private jets. British doctors call for ban on long kitchen knives to end stabbings. Yes, yes, because somebody can't take a piece of sheet metal and make a knife. I mean, th th this is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Now, continuing uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a very important uh, article dealing with what's happening over in uh, the Middle East and other areas. This is out of Bloomberg. And they, they report on this with great horror. Putin defies Obama in Syria as arms fuel Assad resurgence. And they imply it's terrible Assad the evil one has taken over. No, Assad the evil one was attacked three plus years ago by NATO forces backing Al-Qaeda. And then the Russians backed him up to keep their only deep water port there in the Mediterranean. And so this the headline should be, Putin helps sovereign nation battle Western Al-Qaeda forces. President Vladimir Putin, condemned by NATO for annexing Crimea, is now defying the U.S. and Syria by sending more and deadlier arms to help Bashir Assad score a string of advances against insurgents, military experts say. Assad's army seeking to end a three-year civil war that's killed 150,000. No, it's a proxy war started by the West that killed 150,000 people and displaced 9 million, started using longer-range Russian smirch and Ergon rockets for the first time in February, according to Jane's Defense Weapons and Stratford, a U.S. geopolitical research company. Syria has also intensified the use of MiG G-29 fighter jets with ground attack capabilities, citing analysis and video footage. Well, we could tell you that. Watch the video, yeah. Russia is now doing everything to ensure that Assad wins convincingly said a Middle Eastern analyst with Moscow Carnegie Center by phone. If Russia can show it's capable of carrying out its own foreign policy regardless of American wishes, it will be a major achievement for Pootie Poot. Then it goes on to say Congress is approving additional stuff and, you know, we've got to stop Russia. Oh, they're so 
Russia is being surrounded, ladies and gentlemen. We lose the moral high ground funding Al-Qaeda. Because there is no we. It's the globalists that have hijacked America, using our name, our treasure, to back Al-Qaeda.